Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Finally some good news. Philip DeFranco, some of you may have heard of him. He's a very popular American YouTuber with a massive following of 6 million. He's a news commentator centered on current events in politics and pop culture and gets an average of I'd say about a million views per video. <laughs> he seems somewhat balanced and logical and yeah a person with with a heart yeah with a heart and some common sense. So when somebody like him said that he was going to cover Israel and Palestine I was like oh no because let's face it we know that some people that are known as being balanced when it comes to this issue become <laughs> unbalanced so I kind of liked him isn't it so I didn't want to you know not like him but Alhamdulillah all praise be to Allah he covered it and he covered it brilliantly. And that is the fight around public perception and public opinion of what is happening. You're seeing Israel's social media teams kind of just going full steam ahead. I was watching TikTok yesterday I thought I was watching something that was like a Nike ad it was like 15 seconds to text someone back, 15 seconds to fold a shirt and 15 seconds to run away from Hamas's rockets as well as posting videos with captions. That's so true, that's so true. Do you see how he said it felt like he was watching a Nike ad? Boy he's, 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 <laughs> he's going in you know, he's going in. Okay yeah it's true because even the adverts that me and Ali uh, reacted to they seemed like Hollywood production types and I'm sure you guys are aware that even the Pentagon yeah they paid a UK marketing agency to make these uh, fake videos. The question would be why? Why? Why do you need to make fake ones when you've got the real ones? They're specifically pointing to individual celebrities. Bella Hadid, for example, has gotten a lot of attention, both positive and extremely negative. She posted about and joined a pro-Palestinian march in New York. Bella's father is Palestinian, and over the she past did. couple of days, she's been posting about her Palestinian family, sharing photos and writing. Yeah, she's gone in unapologetic and had to become refugees. And when sharing photos of the march she attended over the weekend, she had the caption: "The way my heart feels to be around this many beautiful, smart, respectful, loving, kind, and generous Palestinians all mm. in one place. It feels whole. We are a rare breed." It's free Palestine till Palestine is free. At one point wow. even live streaming the march and actually this got the attention of the state of Israel's official Twitter account with them taking aim. Whoa, 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 whoa. The state of Israel's Twitter account caring what Bella Hadid is tweeting. Boy they must be hurting. They must be hurting. Let's see. The tweet when celebrities like Bella Hadid advocate for throwing Jews into the sea. They are no she did not say that. State. This shouldn't be an Israeli Palestinian issue. This she, should be a human. She didn't say that. Oh my god these they're, they're getting so desperate. They are getting so desperate. Human issue shame on you. With them further arguing that they're saying this because she joined in on a chant that says from the river to the sea Palestine will be free. From the river to the sea Palestine will be free. I think Everybody reading this at this moment in time are thinking how did you get advocating throwing Jews into the sea not even Israelis. Wow anytime you know what you know what's happened is they equate speaking against the Israeli government to speaking against Jews. Including that some call it anti-Semitic saying that it refers to the political and geographic landscape of Palestine and Israel yes. not the religious landscape. Noting that Palestinian activists use it to call for the rights of Palestinians in those borders. Mm. Gigi Hadid has also been on the receiving end of a lot of harassment people accusing her of being anti-Semitic. Ah oh, of course of course Gigi Hadid is speaking out so she must be anti-Semitic because she's speaking against Israel. The fact that you can't criticize Israel that Benjamin Netanyahu and his cronies have literally woven themselves with the fabric of Judaism has peed off, peed off many Jews. To this she ended up responding, I condemn anti-Semitism. I am not trying to kill you nor would I ever want that. I do not wish any more deaths upon Israelis just as I feel about Palestinians. What I do want is equal rights for Palestinians. There are also Jewish Palestinians and Christian Palestinians as Facts. there was coexisting Facts. with my father's Muslim Palestinian well -educated. family when he was born in Palestine mm. in 1948. I wish you peace. Also with this we've actually seen a large number of Jewish Americans speaking out against the Israeli government. Are even seeing the likes of YouTube. Yes, yes, this, this was the guy. This was the guy. Ethan Klein tweeting, the Israeli government is making me sick. Even if Hamas is operating out of a civilian building it doesn't justify the total destruction of that building. It's oh 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 facts. Yeah this is what they've been saying. Oh, Hamas is operating from a, a civilian building. Dot dot dot. What does that now mean? 
that it justifies you killing civilians. No! You mean Netanyahu is a piece of shit warmonger and needs to Oh, go. oh! Damn! This guy is going in. Citizen, I love Israel and the Israeli people. Of they course. deserve a government that actually believes in peace Facts. and not force and violence. Personally, mm. I will say whether it be... Mm. 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 They do, they do, they do. And Ethan Klein or really any other Jewish American, I, I think it is helpful when they speak out. Because it illustrates yes. this incredibly important point that what the Israeli government is doing in the name of the Jewish people is separate from the will of many of those people and that criticism mm. of violence perpetrated by that government is not anti-Semitic in and of itself. Oh! Oh, <laughs> Philip's going in. Big Phil is going in. It's like, no, those are two different things. I think it's really important we get that common ground because there are mm. a lot of legitimate reasons to be disgusted by and criticize the of Israeli course. government. Because while I think there are certain avenues here, I mean, people like John Oliver had said there's certain areas that you can kind of- He referenced outside. John Oliver. Yo, John Oliver. Yo, John Oliver went in. <laughs> he went in. I need to react to John Oliver as well. Hides this thing. You can't do that with the whole situation. One side has killed significantly more civilians and children. One side specifically targeted Facts. a building that housed news Facts. organizations, Al Jazeera, the Associated Press, and has not provided proof as to the reason why exactly. they were destroyed. One side has been kicking people out of their family homes oh. and had for decades. And one side oh. is memeing the absolute devastation <sighs> and destruction and death that it's been bringing. And understand when I criticize the Israeli government, this isn't me talking about all Jewish people. To exactly, me, just like exactly, Hamas does exactly. not represent every Palestinian, the Israeli government does not represent every Jewish person. Mm. The unfortunate truth is that America, or at least the American Breach, government, my brother. is somewhat complicit. We give $3.8 billion in military aid to Israel every year. Hell, even at the Washington Post reporting today that the Biden Oof, administration this guy's has going now in. $735 million Dang. worth of precision guided weapons to be sold to Israel. Right, so we're doing that. You've got Biden saying, keep doing what you doing the, the United mm. States blocking a call for a joint statement to call for a ceasefire. I mean, I almost want to call this insane, but really the best descriptor is it feels like the United States is complicit in what appears to be war crimes. No, 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 he didn't. No, he didn't. Oi, oi, oi. Philip, Big Phil, my respect for you has shut up, Big Phil. God damn. Oh my lord. This guy's just jam-packed one thing after another. He's making it rain with the facts. He's making it rain. Yeah, that's some of the stories, some of the reactions, a little bit of my personal opinion. And now I pass the question off to you. What are your thoughts with all of this? Also my thoughts are, you smashed it, mate. I told you, the guy went in. It was, it was beautiful. His video was well-researched, unapologetic. Yes, at the start, he was hooking onto the Hamas bit a bit too much, but... Let's face it, if he hadn't covered the whole Hamas thing, he probably uh, would have been cancelled, trolled and called anti-Semitic. So why am I so gassed and why do I take this as a definitely a line in the section of victory and the Palestinians? Because I guess when people like me and Ali do videos, let's face it, it's we're like preaching to the preached, yeah? Our audiences are primarily Muslims and yes we may reach the non-Muslims but not at the magnitude that say someone like Philip DeFranco can. Yeah, Philip DeFranco is a non-Muslim, he's American, he's white and of course people watch him. So for somebody like him to make such a clear unapologetic stance and also link people like Ethan and John Oliver, I was like yo and also Bella Hadid. Yeah, so these are all people that have given pro-Palestinian stances and yeah like I've said in my previous videos this is not something you can sit on the fence on yeah you have to make your stance clear yeah this is a genocide this is ethnic cleansing this is apartheid so respect to him may Allah give him hidayah and may Allah uh, assist other people to also rise and defend our Palestinian brethren Muslim or non-Muslim Shia Sunni whoever yeah, Aqsa, Palestine is something that we need to be united over. Otherwise, what we are watering, the seeds that we are watering, boy, the fruits that will come from those seeds are going to harm our kids in the future. Anytime we see a toxic plant, poisonous plant, we remove it from the root. Let's leave it there, guys. And uh, I'll see you next time. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum.